Sempre caro mi fu quest'ermo colle e questa siepe. This lonely hill was always dear to me, and this hedgerow, which cuts off the view of so much of the last del guardo horizon. esclude. Jonathan Galassi is mysteriously able to foster the work of many other writers while keeping the flame lit for his own writing and translating. Just now, he has brought out this monumental translation of the complete canti of Giacomo Leopardi, the work which prompts this conversation today. I worked on this book for about 10 years. Uh, I started it because I had worked on translating Montale, as Rosanna said, and, and when that project was done, I wanted to continue uh, my engagement with Italian poetry. I would like to start with a few remarks on translation or translating poetry in general. And I think you all know this very famous uh, adage, uh, poetry is what gets lost in translation. I don't know who has coined it. Was it Robert Frost? Or, um, he probably lifted it from someone else. <laughs> But there's also a big consolation because I think hundreds and hundreds of translators have proved over the centuries that this is not the whole truth. I think the problem with translation poetry is that there's so much language specific in a poem and it's very hard to replicate. Ma sedendo e mirando in terminati spazi di qua da quella e sovrumani silenzi e profondissima quiete io nel pensar mi fingo per poco il cor non si spaura. But sitting here and gazing, I can see beyond in my mind's eye unending spaces and superhuman silences and depthless calm till what I feel is almost fear. E come il vento odo stormir tra queste piante in quello infinito silenzio questa voce evo comparando I begin comparing that endless stillness with this noise and the eternal comes to mind and the dead seasons and the present living one and how it sounds so my mind sinks in this immensity and foundering is sweet in such a sea the activity of ex of cultural exchange that continues to go on, that this festival is a part of, it, it, it testifies to the fact that uh, there may be specific features of poems that aren't translatable, but the poems themselves are.